What up, Fruity Toots? Hope you're ready for the flyest story time episode yet, because today, Pear and I are here with the tale of Peter Pun. <laughs> it's actually called Peter Pan. I know, I was joking. Well, it wasn't funny. Oh, what is it about my Peter Pan punchlines? They never land. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Are my Peter Pan jokes growing old? <laughs> no. Well, I can tell from your jokes that you know this story pretty well, so go ahead, Orange. You take the lead on this one. <gasps> you, you mean it? I get to tell the story this time? Sure, why not? After all, this is a story about growing up. Maybe you've grown up since the last time you ruined a story time episode. Whoa! Thanks for believing in me, Pear. I won't let you down. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a sister and two brothers. We'll call them Nightgown, Glasses, and Teddy Bear. You know they have real names, right? Names are overrated, Green Friend. My name isn't Green Friend, and you know that. What can I say? Apparently, I forgot your name. <laughs> no! Anyway, this story's not really about Nightgown, Glasses, and Teddy Bear. It's about the character from the title, Tidy McGreen Boy. That is not his name! One night, Tidy McGreenboy Green Boy shows up looking for his shadow. See, it was a special kind of shadow that detached from his body or something, but the four of them finally caught it. You know how to catch a special shadow, don't you? No, Orange. Tell me, how do you catch a special shadow? Unique up on it. <laughs> well, brother. So then Tidy McGreen Boy invited them all to fly away with him to Neverland, an island where no one ever grows up. That's right. Which means everyone on the island is a baby. That's wrong. Nah, no one ever grows up in Neverland, which means everyone's a baby. There's a tribe of babies. There's the log babies. There's even some mer babies. You know, half fish, half baby. And there's a pirate ship full of evil baby pirates, which Tidy McGreen Boy easily defeats because they're babies. That's not how the story goes. Captain Hook is an adult, and this so-called Tidy McGreen Boy has to fight really hard to beat him. Maybe you'd like to tell the story then. Maybe I would. The leader of the pirates is named Captain Hook. They call him that because a crocodile ate his hand, and now he has a hook instead. That's so dangerous! A baby with a hook hand, he can poke an eye out. Captain Hook is not a baby, okay? Now, Captain Hook wants to kill Peter Pan, or er, Tidy McGreen Boy, whatever we're calling him. And Captain Hook is also super scared of the crocodile who ate his hand. The crocodile once ate a clock, so anytime Captain Hook hears the ticking of a clock, he gets super scared and worried. Hmm, what's the crocodile's name? I don't know. He doesn't have a name? Oh man, what a missed opportunity to name him Clockodile. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, that was actually pretty good. Thanks. Anyway, in the end, Nightgown, Glasses, and Teddy Bear all decide to go home and grow up. So that leaves Tidy McGreen Boy and his best friend, Barry McGreen cut to have fun adventures together, forever and ever beating up babies. Hey, would you stop? Just to clarify, no one fights any babies in this story. Well, they should. Maybe that's why no one gets the name of the story right. If they fought a baby or two, it'd be way more memorable. <laughs> oh, that's it. The end. Yeah, no need to be such a baby. <laughs> no. I was just kidding around. <laughs> Orange. What? Did the story not go the way you thought it would? <laughs> would you stop it? <laughs> yeah.